Hey, what's up guys? It's Hovering Banana, and welcome to part 4 of my Crimson Vault to White Zombie trading series. Now we got a lot of trades to go through today, so apologies if I fly through them a bit too quickly. Also I get asked a lot in the comment section how do I know the prices of items, and for the most part it's experience in trading, but I have a video covering how to find the prices of items. And lastly, most of my trades come from adverts I post on rocketly.com, but whenever that's not the case I'll mention it in the trade. So since we're in a rush, let's jump straight into trade number 1. So on reddit I saw an advert, guy had orange and forest green photons and he was looking for 5 keys for both of them, decided to buy those because I thought I'd easily be able to sell both for 6 and there's a chance we could possibly get even more out of that. After this I found another advert on reddit, a guy was buying 5 player choice crates for 1 key, pretty good deal in my opinion, I would say standard ratio at the time of this recording was like 7 to 1, so I was happy to take this. And I also forgot to mention that all these trades come before the nitro crate, so you may see a trade that's a bit odd here and there, but it's probably just going to be with the turbo crates. The next trade I think I found on rltrades.com, I was having a look at the list and just checking what people were posting. Guy was buying white or black tribal decal for one key each. Now I had the black one, I said it was worth about half a key to one key, so I'm happy with this trade. For the next trade I sold my Takumi RXT for one key. Had a few adverts on rocketly.com trying to sell my items for keys. I value the Takumi RXT at about 0.75 so I think it's a good deal here. Next up I found a guy on Steam who had white FSL wheels and he was selling them for 5 keys. In one of the previous episodes I bought a pair for 5 keys and I was able to sell it for 7. So we're going to aim for that 6 to 7 mark. And this is a good item to trade, I listed it in my latest video, the best items to trade in Rocket League so check that one out if you haven't. So on rocketly.com one of the items I was trying to buy was a labyrinth and I was offering 3 keys for it. This was about 3 days ago and it was pretty cheap to get one for 3 keys. I would say the standard price then was about 4 to 4.5 so I thought with this I'd easily be able to sell it for 1 key more and get 4. Next up another item I was trying to buy was a slipstream. I was trying to grab one for 8 because they were going for about 8 to 9 keys. With this I want to look to either get 9 keys but I'd prefer to get some overpay in items. And for the next trade I'm buying one last black market decal. I'm buying a biomass for 5 keys, the standard price around this time was about 5 to 6 and I'm pretty confident I'll get 6 keys for it. And you'll see that I've just bought 3 different black market decals instead of like 3 labyrinths or 3 slipstreams. And I would say the variety is better because we might come across like a crazy good deal for one of them. Next up a guy invited me for my forest green Homburg and I traded that to him for 3 turbo crates. Turbo crates around this time were going for about 3 or 4 to 1 key, so like 25 to 33 cents per turbo crate. And then the forest green Homburg I'd say is worth about 50 cents so it's a good deal here. For the next trade I got invited for my slipstream decal and the guy had 9 keys and that's just an easy 1 key profit from what we bought it for. The next trade involves my Kalos wheels and I sold those for 1 key. I think that's what I valued them at so it's not really a bad deal here. For the next trade I bought white spiralis wheels for 4 keys and this is another item I had in my video on best items to trade. I'm very confident I'd be able to sell them for 6 keys so 2 keys profit with this purchase. The next trade is for my biomass black market decal. The guy had 5 keys plus ads. Through a bit of negotiating the ads that I was able to get out of him were an aviator Sino splash that's worth about 50 cents. Then a ZSR distortion and a GT distortion, those are worth about 50 cents each. The breakout distortion I would say is not as popular, so about 25 cents there. And then we got the two painted Homburgs and I would say is about one key together. So for our biomass we're getting five keys and then nearly three keys in ads. The next trade is just me buying another white FSL for five keys. Like I said we're going to try to get six to seven keys. And now we're sitting on two of these at the moment, so here's where I would suggest not really getting a third, I think that's a bit too much. The next trade I think I also found through looking at rltrades.com. Guy was offering a Tactician certified RXT for Dom GT. Tactician is like the third best certification, so I would say that makes the RXT worth about 1.5 keys, whereas the Dom GT is worth about 1 key. Next up I bought a Crimson Spiralis for 4 keys. They were going about 4 to 6 keys at this time, but I'm not as confident with these ones than say the White Spiralis. I'm still going to try get 6 keys for them, but I'd happily accept 5. For this trade I'm buying black invaders and black velus wheels for 2 keys. These are good wheels to trade and I'm pretty confident I'd be able to get 2 keys each for them. So once I obtained these I decided to put them in the 1 section of rltrades.com just to see if there were any people that were looking for them and I came across a guy buying them for 2 keys plus a turbo crate. I added him but unfortunately he didn't have the turbo crate anymore so he gave 3 other crates but I was still happy taking this deal because I was initially just looking for 2 keys. On to the next trade, I was selling 4 of my turbo crates for 1 key and this was a pretty standard ratio 3 days ago. 
For the next trade, I saw a guy on rocketly.com selling pink photons for two keys. I was fairly confident I'd be able to get three keys for them. Now painted photons do decently, but I wouldn't highly suggest them to you guys. I think there are quite a few other items that may be better to trade. Now the next trade comes from Discord. While posting ads to rocketly.com, I was also posting ads on Discord. This guy was interested in my saffron lobo wheels. Painted lobos, except for white, are pretty difficult to sell. I'd suggest white to you guys, but the other colors I'd probably say avoid them. Especially if you have like a few keys because they're going to be slow to sell. However, if that's not the case, say you got like around 50 keys, you can maybe look into some painted lobos. But back to the trade, this guy offered me 8 turbo crates for my saffron lobos. 8 turbos at this time was worth about 2 keys. Saffron lobos, I was also trying to get 2 keys for them. But I went with the crates because I felt they'd be easier to trade. Next up, I sold my furry paint for one key. Pretty good offer right here, I'd say at the moment they're going for about 0.5. Now I did have these in my adverts for quite a long time, but I kind of forgot about the furry paint, so I was surprised that I was able to get one key for it. For the next trade, I sold my labyrinth for five keys. You'll remember we bought it for three, so we're selling a five, two keys profit, that's very good. But I will say I got lucky with this trade because I do think getting five keys for a labyrinth is pretty difficult. For the next trade, I simply sold eight more turbo crates for two keys nothing special here. Next up we have a very small trade. A guy was interested in my purple Homburg and he had a sky blue pork pie to offer. I'd say the pork pie is better and it's in a good color so about 25 cents more. It's nothing special but uh, profit is profit. On to the next trade. I saw a guy on reddit he posted that he had five painted lobos and he was looking for five keys. But like I said I wouldn't suggest this if you only have like a few keys. But I had a decent amount and I'm gonna try and sell each for about two keys. If I can do that, then I'm making very good profit from this trade. So I went on to RL Trades. In the one section, I typed in all the logo colors and I came across a guy buying white logos for two keys. Now I went for this deal, but I think back then I should have rather seen if I could maybe get three keys for them. The next trade is for our white Spiralis wheels. I was trying to get six keys for them and this guy offered me five keys plus ads. The ads were two turbo crates worth about 50 cents at this time and then we got a zombo which is worth about 0.75 but I'm gonna try to get one key for it. So we're getting about just over six keys with this offer. For the next trade I sold my unpainted FSL wheels for one key. I valued them at about 0.75 so it's a good deal here. On to the next trade I managed to sell my pink photons and my forest green photons for six keys. We bought the pink ones for 2 and the forest ones cost us about 2.5. So we're looking at about 1.5 keys profit here and that's pretty good. Next up I got offered 2 turbo crates for my unpainted Spiralis wheels. Value the unpainted Spiralis at like 33 cents. 2 turbo crates were about 50 cents. So even though that's very little profit I just decided to take it anyway. Next up I sold my white Vortex wheels for 2 keys. For quite some time I was trying to sell them for 3 keys but I wasn't really getting any attention for it. So I decided to drop it down to 2 and I'm still happy because we got this in a very good trade. Next up while searching through oral trades I came across another certified Takumi for a Dom GT. His advert said they were striker ones which I would have really liked. Unfortunately it turned out to be scorer which is still pretty good, second best certification. I'm gonna list it as 1.5 here but I'm gonna try to get 2 keys for them and I don't think it will be that difficult. For the next trade I got invited for my unpainted vaults. I got offered disco wheels, a turbo crate as well as a sky bowler. I would say the disco and the vaults are about the same. I'll probably say the vaults are a bit better but I'm going to list them at the same price. Then on top of that we got the turbo crate about 25 cents and then the sky blue bowler also about 25 cents. For the next trade I sold 7 turbo crates for 2 keys. You'll see in the previous trades we were selling 8 for 2. So I decided to improve on the ratio and I managed to find a buyer for it. But again I will say this was before the nitro crates so the ratios were a bit better and I think now they're at like 5 to 1. The next trade comes from Steam Trading Groups. I posted an entire list of all my items and I was looking for keys or offers. A guy offered me 6 turbo crates for my Dom GT and my Breakout Type S. Now I told him I could do 7 because we saw I was able to get 7 for 2 keys and I valued the Dom GT and the Breakout Type S at like 1.75 together and he agreed to do this deal. For the next trade, a guy invited me for my Guardian Certified Xeno Splash. Now I rate this about 0.5 keys and the offer I decided to go for was a Crimson Aqueous decal. Now this item is going to be pretty difficult to sell but I think because it's crimson color I might be able to get one key for someone who really likes the Takumi and the Aqueous decal. For the next trade, a guy was interested in one of my painted Lobo wheels. 
He showed me all his items and eventually we settled on the deal of my forest green over wheels for his black neptunes as well as a takumi rxt. I'd say the black neptunes are worth about one and a half key but I'm gonna try get two for them and then the takumi rxt we know is about 0.75 but I'm gonna try get one key for it. The next trade is for my aviator certified xeno splash. His original offer was a turbo crate and a CC4 and I wasn't really happy with that. So he instead showed me all the items he could put up for trade and I gave him an offer which he accepted and that was a turbo crate with about 25 cents then an orange pirate hat I would say is about maybe 50 and then we got the pink griffin decal. Not really a great looking decal and it's in pink which is like a below average color but I think just because it's for the octane car I'll be able to get like half a key for it. The next trade is for my sky blue wildcat ears. Now this time I was trying to sell them for two keys, wasn't having much luck. Guy invited me and gave me an offer on them, he gave me three turbo crates and purple wildcat ears. At the time like 75 cents for the turbo crates. I do feel these sky blue wildcat ears are worth slightly more than the purple ones, but I'm just going to be lazy and list them at the same value. But if I'm able to get like one key plus like a half key add, I'll still be making profit with this deal so I'm happy. For the next trade I sold my show off certified forest green spiralis wheels for 3 keys and that's what I valued them at. I was trying to get 4 though but I wasn't having much luck so I just dropped them down to 3 and I managed to find a buyer. For the second last trade in today's video I bought a pair of black chakrams for 5 keys. I had an ad out buying that on rocketly.com and with these I'm looking to sell them for either 6 to 7 keys. And the final trade for today's video is me selling my black Velus wheels for 2 keys. If you remember correctly I bought them for 1 so we're making 1 key profit here and that's quite good. And those are all the trades for today's video. Sorry if they felt a bit rushed but I think we had to go through like 42 trades whereas normally it's like 20 to 25. But hopefully they were still helpful and you enjoyed them. And as always thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.